Well, his hands and his eyesight were taken from him in the Vietnam War. But that didn't stop Bill Wedekind from a lifetime of success as a professional potter. J.T. Street has the inspirational story of a man who found a way to reshape his dreams on Street's Corner. Take a vote. Bowl or cylinder? Cylinder. cylinder. Two pretty strong votes right there, I think. <laughs> Members of the San Antonio Potter's Guild stare in astonishment at a demonstration from Bill Wedekind, the self-proclaimed world's only blind double amputee potter. I'm the only blind double amputee potter in the world, at least ways I've never seen another one. That's a joke and a legal disclaimer. <laughs> the Marine Vietnam veteran received that legal disclaimer in the spring of 1968 when he was badly wounded in an explosion. The last thing I remember seeing was looking down the hillside into a brush choked ravine. And evidently while I was looking down there I didn't do something right because that's the last thing I ever saw. Both my eyes were removed by the concussion, although this right eye had some shrapnel first. Both hands were removed. I had shrapnel penetrate my skull. This valley on top of my head came not from me being wounded, but from the rotating my scalp to cover the plate. For two years I had to shave my forehead when I was bald on top. You know, it didn't make sense. Neither did pottery at first. But my grandmother had told me in December of 1968 that she thought I should work on a potter's wheel. I thought the woman was crazy. She gave me instructions on how to throw a pot, and I threw something that resembled a pot. It let me realize that I could do it. Soon, Bill was attending pottery classes at Kansas State and coming up with clever ways to get around his disability. Here's a technique I bet you've never seen before. Though his eyes and hands are gone, Bill is able to use his mouth to make a spout for his clay cylinder, showing the crowd that his mind and his tongue are still sharp. So, Bill, do different clays taste different? <laughs> You want to come out and give me a kiss and find out? <laughs> I'm making pots because it did something for me. It allowed me to be productive. It also allowed Bill to inspire others, whether they be pottery fans or fellow wounded warriors. What do you tell them? It can be done. Anything you want to do. It's up to you to do it. You can make your life as good or as bad as you want to make it. You can have as many problems or lack thereof as you want. Entirely up to you. Bill currently lives in the San Antonio area. He says he plans to continue making pottery and public speaking as long as he's able. J.T. Street, Fox News at 9.